Come and get it. Now you're swinging, Daddy. What you buy and why you buy it has changed over the years, certainly since the 1950s and 60s. I've never seen that before. And since the 1970s, when non-name brand products called generic started lining shelves. It never took my attention. Not exactly shopper friendly. The unremarkable labeling and the unattractive term generic made these products seem inferior, and the quality often was. But times and trends have changed. It's no longer just something you're going to buy because it's less expensive. Consumers are getting more savvy. These days, most national and regional retailers have their version of generic, each store with its own branding, same products side by side. <laughs> The price difference is easy to see. Now I try them and I feel they're really good, the quality and the price. When you really look at the product or what the ingredients are, they're basically the same anyways, so you might as well just save money. The National Food Marketing Institute finds about 64% of consumers have always been comfortable buying store brands. That jumped another 27% during the recession. And after the recession, about 14% of those plan to stick with their pick. The Institute also finds customers used to think private label brands were okay for every day, but not for special occasions or guests. Now nearly half of you disagree with that. Consumers see private brands as offering more value, which means that they're not just concerned with price per say, but the actual quality of the product. For one thing, many name brand manufacturers make the exact same product for the store brand. Perfect example, this name brand soda, popular among Hispanics, this manufacturer makes the store brand. Similar products will also have the same ingredients, like this national brand children's antihistamine and the store brand. Just read the labels. So if national brand and store brand product quality is the same or better, why do you save money? What's driving the effect is how much promotion is going on, how many ads you see on TV, how many glossy pictures you see in a magazine. That, that cost has to come from somewhere. <sighs> And companies put a lot of thought into how they package their products. You always have to think about what's the frame of reference for the customer. We wanted them to know what product they were picking up, not by accident, but by choice. Has bilingual uh, you know, Spanish and English instructions as well as labeling. This store targets its biggest buyers, Hispanics. We thought that a bilingual brand would have a much broader appeal to our consumer. And as long as we kept the value relevant, I think that that was going to be something that the consumer, that the customer would accept. So what should you buy private label? Well, products include beverages, cereals, grains, and produce, staples like flour, sugar, salt, and spices, cleaning products, and medications, prescription and over-the-counter. So at least 70% of Americans now admit they enjoy a discount. And trend tracking shows each year more and more of us will look to save money choosing store brand every time. See a full list of what products to buy generic, just go to CBSMiami.com. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News Tonight.